Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BeerGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at a new release, an anniversary release, 20th anniversary of that from Stone Brewing. This is their Citrusado IPA, double IPA, coming in at 9%, alcohol by volume. It's a double IPA brewed with citra hops and avocado flower honey, which I had no idea even existed. Uh, that's obviously where they get the name. I believe their brewery is also on Citrusado Drive or something like that, if I recall. Uh, pick this one up at CraftCity.com. They have a gigantic selection of craft beer. You can can order it right there and have it shipped directly to you if you can't get it. So look, I'm a sucker for a Stone Double IPA, Stone IPA. I love them. I always go after them. This one was actually hard to find around me. Didn't Not too many places got it, so that's why I had to get it online. So with that said, let me get into a glass so you guys know what it smells, tastes. Give you the final verdict on the Stone Citrusado Double IPA. All right, guys, see the aroma. Yeah, well, I mean, it's definitely a Stone IPA, definitely a West Coast IPA. Tons and tons of citrus, fresh squeezed orange juice. You know when you're like peeling an orange and kind of that spray comes off and you get hit with it? That's what it smells like. A little bit of pininess, a little bit of a malty kind of sweetness in there as well. But yeah, it's a pretty classic style, West Coast style double IPA. I guess the taste. Cheers. Yeah. West Coast IPA, right up front, big pop of bitterness, citrus, pine needle, middle of the mouth. Uh, you start to get more of like a tropical vibe to it, like a pineapple or maybe even a little bit of peach, uh, papaya, mango type of flavor, which you typically get from Citra Haas. Getting a lot of maltiness in the middle there as well. Definitely more of a malty IPA, which I'm surprised coming from Stone. Pretty sweet in the aftertaste. There is kind of a residual kind of honey sweetness. I'm assuming that's probably the honey they're using, but it doesn't jump out like it's honey. There's just an underlying kind of generic sweetness in there. Uh, 9%. Doesn't drink like that, goes down surprisingly well, but does definitely has some body to it. Um, again, a residual sweetness kind of hanging out there, more orange peel, orange rind, orange juice kind of flavors. Orange is the dominant flavor in this one. Uh, it's solid stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Stone Citrusado IPA, 20th anniversary, happy 20th anniversary. 9% uh, alcohol by volume. Again, pick this one up at craftcity.com. Uh, guys, I'm gonna give this one a B. I was actually a little bit surprised about how malty this is. Um, and the maltiness almost kind of competes with some of the honey and hop flavors, which typically Stone does not do. Stone's pretty mellow about how much maltiness they have in their IPAs. It's West Coast, kind of an East Coasty, kind of old school East Coasty as well. Uh, definitely a hop bomb. I mean, you're definitely getting that citra, orangey flavor, pine needle, West Coast, but there's a surprisingly large amount of maltiness to it that Kind of not really digging in this one. It's solid, but it's just like a B. Um, I, yeah, yeah, it, it's, it, I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments section? Am I crazy about that? So with that said, folks, remember life's too short, drink amazing beers. And if you can, please click on the support Beer Geek Nation banner. Every little, every little thing you can do helps. So with that said, folks, cheers.